Good day, ma'am. I am Ayesha Brandes. And I am Shaya Maya Pulambao. And today we'll discuss about graphing rational functions. So, first and foremost, in solving graphing rational function, let's first find the domain. On top of the domain, well, it's quite easy. It is just to find the number that makes the denominator, denominator zero. So, okay, we take first that 3x minus 4. So, 3x minus 4. So, how can we make this into zero? It's quite easy. We just need to cancel out the 3. So, we go to 3 as denominator. So, cancel out 3. So, the first, so the main of 3x minus 4 equal is 4 over 3. So, next is x plus 2. So, x plus 2 equals 0. How can I do this? How can we make it zero? It's easy. We need to just close it to into here. So this will make x equals negative 2. Not only negative 2 man, because we transpose it from positive into negative. So thus we can conclude our domains are all real numbers. the domain is what makes the denominator zero. So next, we should go to x intercept. So in solving x intercept, y will always be zero. So, so how, where do we find the fractions or the numbers to find the zero? It is the, it is the numerator. So it is 5x minus 2. How to solve the x intercept for both of these? So first and foremost, it is the is for the 5x minus 2, we just need to get rid of the 5 in 5x. So divide each side by 5, dividing it. So our first x intercept, first x intercept equals equals 2 fifths. And for here, it is the same as this, we can transpose this, so x equals 2. Since this is a negative sign, when transposing it becomes positive, so x equals 2 will be our second x intercept. So, 2. Positive 2. Okay. So, for the y intercept, we need to solve this, so it will become x plus 0. So, this is 5x minus, minus 2 and x minus 2. So, 5. So for this is 5 times 0 equals 0 and 0 times minus negative 2 equals negative 2. Positive 2. Here is 0 minus negative minus 2 equals negative 2. And for here is 0 times 3 equals 0 minus 4 equals negative 4. Here is 0 plus 2 equals positive 2. So times negative 2 times negative 2. What is the answer? It is negative 4. Since negative times negative equals positive. And here is negative 4 times 2 equals negative 8. As to why, since 4 is a bigger number, with the bigger number is the sign you must need to do it. So it equals 4 over negative 8. Since it, is, it, is, it can be more specified, it can become negative 1 over 2. So our y intercept is negative 1 over 2.
So, where do we find our zeros? Very easy. Our zeros are automatically the x intercept. So our zeros are. So our zeros are. Further explain this topic, I will ask my partner, Charmaine Bulamba, to introduce us to the next part. The next is our vertical asymptote. So, um, at one vertical asymptote is very high as a domain. So, kung kung saan ang ating avoid the rate, mo mo lang ang answer na sa vertical asymptote. So, at one vertical asymptote is x. Four over 
so 5x minus 2 is positive and 1.5 positive and 3 is positive so next is the x minus 2 so x minus 2 substitute the 2 and negative 3 of google was is negative and negative 1 negative and 1 is